actually vlogging for today, but I wanted to share like a mini meal prep just for I think one meal, nothing uh, exciting necessarily. And as per usual, when I meal prep, you end up with the old t-shirt, frizzy, messy hair, me, because just got through exercise. And I don't know what it is about. I don't have a schedule, but some things just happen at the exact same time. Um, Willow is currently watching a llama llama cartoon in the living room. So if y'all hear noises, that's what that is. I'm going to do my grocery haul for tomorrow. We'll go to Walmart and, um... I figure I'll just throw this in maybe at the beginning of the vlog. A few people on Instagram had shared this recipe and then I think I saw it on Pinterest as well. So I'm just kind of out of the loop here with as far as I don't know what I want to make for my meal prep right now. I just, I've been eating quick stuff or um, just waiting the last minute and then having to throw something together just out of, out of options because I'm kind of tired of a lot of different things. Um, Last night we went and ate our local Chinese buffet. Normally I have like one day a week where we kind of eat like, normally it's Domino's. Um, but like that'll be my cheat meal, I guess. I don't restrict any foods. It's just there's a lot of foods that are so high calorie that you would definitely go over. So normally once a week I'll allow myself just to have like a good meal. And normally we would do it like Friday. So I'm trying to prep me a few things that way tomorrow and Saturday that if I have it ready that will I will more likely eat it and not just eat something quick. Okay so like I said this is not my recipe. I found it on Instagram I don't even know how long ago and have just been meaning to make it and um, I, I saw something similar on Pinterest so I don't know where this recipe is from. This may be one of those TikTok trends. I'm not on TikTok. I don't want to be on there um, but I'm just going to try it out. So I didn't save a cook time, so I'm just going to do like 380. As per usual, Willow's down for her nap while I'm doing prep. Okay, and here are my ingredients along with my real life messes around the house. Um, I have three chicken breasts and then this is two tablespoons of olive oil. And then in this bowl, we're going to put all of our seasonings. I'm going to measure most of them just for y'all. This is brown sugar, so we need two tablespoons of this and yeah do y'all see that that little lunch mess I gotta clean up over there um my scoop one here is two tablespoons and that's exactly what I needed so we're gonna do two tablespoons of brown sugar if y'all can't tell I've been cooking a lot randomly and I don't even know what I got on here but black pepper I'm not gonna measure just going to put a decent amount And this is right at half a tablespoon of oregano. And then this is, uh, technically this is one tablespoon, but we're going to do right over one and a half. Does anyone else refuse to say paprika and say paprika? I just can't bring myself to say paprika. <laughs> so there's our one and a half. Garlic powder, I've got about three quarters of a tablespoon, so just a little bit over a half. And I'm going to mix this all together. actually used my hand to do this because I could break down the brown sugar a little bit easier until it's mixed really good. Once you have that done you need a baking sheet or in my case a cookie sheet and I lined it with foil and put a thin coat of olive oil on the bottom. Then you're going to take your chicken breast and dip it in the oil and coat both sides and put it in your dry rub mixture get it coated really good all the way around you might have to kind of if you've ever cooked with panko that's kind of how this is and then shake the excess off This was perfectly timed. My oven just beeped. So now that I have all the chicken on the pan, I'm going to use a crack of Mediterranean sea salt over each chicken breast.
the last step is to take some honey and I have this is some local honey I need to get another jar it's kind of granulated but it's not that big of a deal and it's probably about half a teaspoon maybe a little less I'm just gonna drizzle it across the top of each chicken breast just a little bit if your honey's thicker like this if you melt it or warm it in the microwave a little bit it would drizzle better Just looking at it, I feel like I want a little bit more pepper, so I'm going to put a few shakes over each one. And now that my oven's ready to go, I will try to update y'all on how long it takes to cook. I'm going to set my timer for like 18 minutes. I think my plan today is to eat it with a salad because yeah I have some lettuce I need to use up before it burns and oh, don't you hate when your baking sheets pop and scare you to death <laughs> also just remembered I brewed my cup of coffee earlier this morning I actually planned to drink it hot and then I had to do my exercise and I know better than to drink coffee on an empty stomach or at any point and then go exercise because it just makes me sick so now I've got to pour it out of my insulated cup and microwave it and I'm going to sit down and drink it, watch a show while Willow takes her nap, wait on the chicken to get done, then I'll eat. I have to tell y'all when I done the grocery haul with this, I said I would give an update. I like it for, you know, almond coconut creamer, but honestly, um, because you have to add your sweetener or whatever, I probably wouldn't buy it again because I would just rather buy like the sugar-free versions or something, but I'm guessing... I don't know, like you had certain health requirements and restrictions that this would be a good option. So I'm not saying it's bad. It's just I probably won't get it again. I know I should have paid attention better. Okay. I think it's done. And I know this is the most typical vlogging thing anyone could say. But I really wish y'all could smell this because it smells absolutely amazing. I'm going to cut it and check to make sure that it's cooked. Okay, it's cooked perfectly. I cut the largest portion. And now I'm going to do a taste test. Can y'all see how good this looks? It smells so good. So hot. Okay, I don't share anything I don't like. Or if I cook something, I tell y'all. There was one time I shared a recipe and I had like in detail recorded it and literally it was disgusting and we threw it away but no joke that is the i hate this word but it's true the moistest chicken i have ever eaten especially for a chicken breast it's not dry at all i don't know if like the cooking method made it that way or the seasonings with combined with the oil and the honey i don't know but that was so basic and so good i might even try doing it in the air fryer one day but this is probably one of my new favorite ways to eat chicken. Michael would even eat this. And if y'all been around a while, y'all know how picky he is. He doesn't eat a lot of things. He loves meat and stuff. Doesn't eat vegetables and things. But I think I'm going to make me a salad and then eat this on the side. My lettuce was bad. <laughs> so I remembered I had these that I got on a grocery order marked down. And I was going to try it out and see if it's any good. Only 230 calories in here, which is probably about how much I would have for a salad anyway. So I'm going to eat that with the chicken breast. Probably going to inhale this chicken breast. So it's a cheesy spinach garlic sauce. Kind of looks like pesto. So hot, but I want to try it. It's okay. It's not something I would buy again. I mean, if it was like really cheap marked down, I would. But it's not something that I would just necessarily want because I could just make it myself. So this is my meal plan for the week. Um, if you've been around, I've mentioned that I don't actually meal plan. The egg white bites I've been wanting to make for a while. And I started on the vlog and never finished it. But I'm going to try to share at least the recipes for the rest of this stuff. At some point, I want to make the blueberry muffins for a breakfast recipe, and they're only 100 calories, and then tossing it up with some Greek bowls. In the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, getting Willow some breakfast, and me some as well. Um, 
but we're headed to Walmart to do our weekly grocery shop and I've been starting off this is gonna be a grocery haul vlog but I've been starting off my grocery haul vlogs in the car a lot because um, it seems like if I don't then I get in the store and I realize there's things in there that I wanted to show or new products and things so it works better for me to just go ahead and open it up in the car because then if I want to film I can or if not I could just pick up on the haul when we get home but from here, we're going one other place and then going to Walmart. And um, I mentioned that for the month of August, we're going to have smaller grocery hauls. That's just how our budgets worked out for this month. So it won't be quite as much. I just had to pause because the worker walked into my window and asked me, he said, are you iguana? <laughs> I said, uh, no, Jessica, which I've never in my life heard a person named iguana. So that's kind of funny to me. So I got the egg white grill. It's under 300 calories. I died Dr. Pepper. Willow got the um, potato crowns or whatever they call them. And then I got their peach milkshake because I've been craving ice cream. Y'all don't even know <clears throat> what it is. Every time I start dieting and um, or counting calories, I don't want to really say dieting completely, but I end up wanting ice cream. Like it's my go-to dessert and I've never like specifically had a certain dessert that I love, but I don't know. That's like my thing lately. So I get it at Chick-fil-A when I want it, or I get like one of the little uh, pints at Walmart because they're the lower calorie option. That's not baking, baby. So I don't know why this has been like a a routine for me for a while. What is that? It's baby. It's baby. Baby, baby, baby. Can you give her baby a hug? Give it a hug. Baby. Baby. I'm going to show y'all what we got at Walmart. We spent about 20 or 30 more than I was thinking. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is what we got for this week. Um, a few items were little stock up items, but this was mostly produce and just stuff to get us to the next week. I got some canned black beans. Um, I've been using a lot of these in meal prep. I always get no salt added on anything that I can get, and they're the same price. And I didn't realize that on Willow's Wick, I can get four of these, or I can get one one-pound bag of dried beans. So I've just been getting the dried ones, not realizing that you actually had a larger quantity in cans. Because I know, like, they're probably going by the um, dry weight without the liquid or uncooked or whatever. But I'm going to start getting canned for a wick now that I know that. I got three tomatoes just to mix up, maybe for like a little side salad thing. A big container of blueberries. Normally I get the little one, but I figured I will eat some of these. I got these for a meal prep. I'm doing like some Greek chicken bowls. I might share some of that later. Um, this is just a mixed variety. I've actually never had these. Then I got some black seedless grapes. Michael said he wanted buffalo chicken sandwiches. So they were out of so much stuff, y'all, from back to school. And this was the only pack of the chicken left, so I got it. Needed some American cheese. Mainly we only eat this like on a grilled cheese or something. So we needed more of that. And then I got two cans of sliced black olives. This is also going in the Greek chicken bowls. Um, I don't know. I might throw that in on the end of this vlog or add it to another one. We'll see. If you haven't tried Walmart's chicken salad, it is so good. This is the one with the cranberry, celery, and pecans. It's under, or it's right at 200 calories for a serving size. And if you want to reduce calories, I actually make lettuce cups with them and then have like vegetables on the side. It's really, really good. They also have a plain one. Got some Greek yogurt to make, I might be saying this wrong, tzatziki sauce for the Greek bowls. This is for my lunch. I'm actually about to eat half of this for lunch and then half for supper with the chicken that I included in the beginning of this um, vlog. I'm going to eat that with it. Shredded lettuce. I just always grab a bag of this each week. Um, I'm trying not to miss anything. I do this every time and have to go back. This was a new wax melt. Feeling cozy. It's warm woods and crisp apple. This reminds me of something, but I can't quite place it. It's. I'm feeling like it's an old Bath and Body Works smell. It's very musk like actually and i faintly get apple but kind of like to get something like that to change it up this one is super good these are the little melts and it smells up a pretty good area in our house only using one i save my fall ones for fall time the dozen eggs on willow's wick one cucumber because we still have one other i keep two each week different bananas i'm gonna make some more of the protein um 
or the oatmeal low calorie cookie things i've already shared a recipe i'm going to make some more of those i think there's one other recipe for that got some more feta for the greek bowls i tried to get bagel thins like i said they were out of so much because of back to school and i wanted the plain ones but they had one bag left and these are the everything bagel ones so i grabbed those got the sam's choice sweet hawaiian rolls y'all the sam's brand ones are now almost four dollars and that's how much the hawaiian sweet brand used to cost those are for michael's um buffalo chicken sliders he wants got him a loaf of white bread because we still have honey wheat this is the lettuce i use when i want to make like lettuce cups but i mainly use it for salad i shared these in my last grocery haul guys this no joke this is the best so-called diet snack that i have found if you like payday candy bars, this is the exact same. There is literally no difference to me. And um, my very picky husband tasted it, and he said it was actually really good. And it's only 140 calories, and there's only one gram of sugar in it, which I don't understand. It's just amazing. Sad thing is, I only tried them because they were marked down. So these were like $5 a box, and there was only two left. And I think it's because they're doing away with them, but this has become my favorite snack right now. More pouches for Willow. Um, I got some graham crackers. I spend about $2 extra for the name brand because I get the Fresh Stacks one. Random little tip. Um, these have a lot of whole grain in them for like if you have a picky toddler and maybe you're just trying to get them full. Give them one or two of these and it helps fill them up and they get some grains in on their diet. Got some trash bags. We use the Great Value 13 gallon and I got the lemon ones this time. I always get a little pack of diapers got some reduced sodium uh bacon bits again anything reduced sodium that's what i'm getting some mr clean magic erasers but this is the great value brand they work just as good yep they work great on the floor too <laughs> smoked paprika i was hoping they had smoked i've only ever seen the regular one but i was so glad they do have that so um i got that i can't remember there's something coming up i want to make that specifically actually calls for smoked I was very surprised to see the little bites. This is the pumpkin ones. These are really good. And um, I got them for Willow and for me. I'll give her like one or two for a snack and cut them up. Got her some fruit cups. That I think they were out of the cans. And I was shocked they had the cups with the back to school stuff being sold right now. This is another random diet thing. Let me pick these up. So, these are little yogurt drinks. Even if you don't like yogurt, I feel like you could still drink these and not even think it's yogurt. It's literally like, almost like a melted strawberry milkshake. It's only 80 calories. There's no added sugar and there's protein in it. So, I haven't had any in a while. They sounded really good. This four pack is under $4, so less than a dollar a bottle. Very affordable snack. Very good healthy snack. Sometimes I even have one for breakfast with something else with it this is so hard like moving around and stretching on the counter i got a jar of unsweetened applesauce i wanted the cups they were out um some baking things especially when you're doing low calorie will substitute a lot of the sugar for applesauce so i got that got a box of the parents choice variety pouches we needed dryer sheets i've just been using the great value ones because they're cheaper they work good they smell good Got some red and white quinoa cups. These are the one minute, like minute rice. There's two of them, and those are going in the Greek bowls. Got some sliced almonds. Random thing, Willow, for the longest amount of time, did not drink enough milk. So I found like random little sources of calcium, and almonds have it. So she loves to eat those, and the slice, she can't really choke. <laughs> Garlic um, croutons. I got a golden honeydew. I don't know that I've ever had golden honeydew. And they were really, I don't even know if you can tell how big that thing is. It's really big and they look really bright. So I got that gallon of milk. They had the Arm & Hammer detergent. My favorite is the Arm & Hammer with the Oxy Boost in it. But they stay out and I've just been buying the little bottle because it's like 3 or $4. If they don't have that, I get the great value that's um, their version of Gain. But in the liquid detergent, this is actually like 20 or $0.30 cents cheaper. So I actually prefer to get that. I've got these in the sink thawing. This is one of my favorite things in the world. So a lot of people would assume like shrimp or cocktail shrimp is going to be expensive. This is $8 for this whole tray. You could easily get three or four meals depending on how you eat this. But we're going to eat this tonight. I don't know why these are so good. This whole tray, if you ate it, would be well under 300 calories. I'm not going to lie. One time when I first started, 
I feel like I should show my face where I'm not just letting y'all stare at shrimp. When I first started dieting, I started off back in January and I just out of nowhere it started off at 1200 calories and that's like the lowest you should ever go. And um, it worked a little, like for a little while it worked and then I realized that after probably like two weeks or so that I was showing signs of like needing more nutrition. So I bumped back up. I think I bumped to 14 and then I went to 15, something like that. So uh, that was one of the things that I found that was very low calorie and I would get those for a lunch and I would eat the whole tray for my lunch and I would be full from by the time I got home 11 or 12 all the way until dinner time. Sometimes I didn't even eat that big of a dinner. Good source of protein and everything. But I'm going to have that with salad tonight and I'm actually going to be pretty close to my within range of my calories for the day which I'm happy about because I had a milkshake for breakfast so it's kind of funny that you can still have your cake and eat it too. Anyways, um, got three boxes of the fully cooked bacon. Willow has been asking me for bacon y'all so for a while I was doing those wraps like the chicken bacon ranch wraps and I would heat this up and I would give her like one strip of it. And she decided she loved it. So for breakfast, I usually give her like half of a sausage patty or one or two strips of bacon. And we were out. So we got our three boxes to be sure we don't run out. Need some more sour cream. I get the light. Most of the time on anything I can get the light, I do just because it'll cut your calories in half. Or you can use the same amount or less. And it just it makes sense. <laughs> they didn't have Michael's coffee Coke. He likes the Coca-Cola coffee caramel. But they had mine. I feel like one week they have mine, the next week they have his. So I just got mine. This was something super cute. We're coming up on the fall months and they had a few little fall items in stock. And this one was um, long sleeve. So I definitely had to get it while I could. It has the little curled up ruffle hem. It's only $4.98. I got a 4T, which she, guys, she's pushing out of her 3T pajamas and dresses and into 4T already, which is crazy. So I got her that one. And then I got this little sweatshirt and I thought it was kind of funny that it was in the girl section and I looked on my ticket and it says boys, not that it matters, but I thought it was cute because it looks like fall. It's got little leaves on it, but it's just different bugs that look like leaves and sticks and things. So I got a 14 in this as well, but I mean, it could be boy or girl, who cares? <laughs> this is the only other thing I got. Um, it's queso flavored fried pork skins. Y'all, I'm probably weird. I think the idea of fried pork skins or whatever you want to call them is gross. We grew up eating these, but just the thought of it is gross to me, but yet I like to eat them sometimes. <laughs> and I see all these keto groups. I'm not keto, and I don't really think that's the healthiest thing to do. They share these because apparently that's a good thing for your keto diet, and I just kept thinking it kind of sounded good. So these actually taste pretty good. I ate a few. <laughs> So anyways, that's all we got for the week. The only thing I didn't show was we had one little yogurt pouch that Willow drank in the store. And um, actually there was one other thing. She had a little container of M&Ms. Every time we go up to the register, she thinks she needs that little container. So that's like her little treat for the week. And then um, she had a little bitty baby doll we got. So that's going to be all for this vlog. I'm just going to try to keep it just the grocery haul with a little recipe. I try to keep my grocery haul vlog shorter. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and like this video. Um, especially if you're like a silent supporter. It actually helps me a lot when I see a like on a video or comments. It lets me know that that's, that someone likes that um, style of vlog or if it's a new way that I filmed it or something like that and I see that there's more likes on it. It lets me you know, kind of predict how the next vlog like that might go. So please always remember to like a video. That helps me know that I'm still pushing stuff out there that you enjoy. As always, if you have a suggestion for a vlog or there's a recipe or something that you would like to see me come up with, I love responding to everyone. I try to reply to every single comment. I may have missed one or two, but I think I've been pretty good at keeping up with them. So, see you guys in the next vlog.